Here we are with peonies, English meadow flowers. And then we've got this fabulous oversized poppy. And Very modern. Wow, gypsophilia. And it's just so fresh. Well, what I makes a good afternoon tea? Indian leaf tea in a pot and then just filter it out, filter it out, definitely not tea bags I'm afraid. No. It's just, it's not a quick, a quick fix. <laughs> <laughs> a proper tea in a teapot and then filter that out, have the milk go in the china cup first, again freshly made sultana scones, then the butter goes on while they're still warm and then the jam. And it could be raspberry jam, it could actually be strawberry, strawberry jam. Strawberry or raspberry. Preferences are there, let's have both. <laughs> <laughs> well, and this person will have strawberry and that one will have the raspberry jam. Absolutely, jams. there's a print for everyone. <laughs> and this one will have the tea and the champagne. Mm. But I feel they're, they're all perfect. Different ladies, different prints. Especially the Thames near Windsor or Eton Village. Or Eaton Village. You can Probably get a cream tea there. you go with the classic for Eaton Village. Yeah, would you say that's Eaton Village? Because you live there. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, in Windsor, you cross the river. You could French, take it south of France. Belgian car. Yeah, where you get a lot more sunshine. That's probably indoors, and this would be your riverside. Uh, very side. fresh in the open air. I love it with peonies, and the color of the leaves is so definite, sort of blue-green. So you can easily pair it with something green. Mm. That is so beautiful, isn't it? This is just a shawl over a little blouse and a fabulous dress. I mean, it's so dressy, it takes you right through the day to the evening. Yeah, this, did you say a coat or a blouse? I think a little jacket, well, it's so light, and if it's a sleeveless or just a strapless dress, that against skin tone would be perfect just to be covered for the ceremony. But I think the way this moves, it's a, it's you a definitely shot organza. tried to recreate that in the sleeve somewhere. Oh, yeah. Your favorite, the, the big leg of mutton sleeve. Yep, we love that. We may even try mm. that. We may even try that. That's beautiful and fresh. It's very continental to what we'll show you later. Yeah, because this is, is very much Vienna with yeah, coffee and cakes. Chocolate and that cake would would be a chocolate tort from Hotel Sasha. Mentioned no names, which is next to the opera in Hello. Vienna. Mm -hmm. Do you think she would dance? <laughs> Should she? Why not? You know, maybe a waltz, maybe a Strauss waltz, the Blue Danube. Somewhere with the street, some street exactly. musicians. That would be yeah, really <laughs> on cordial. the way back. <laughs> Absolutely, it's got that sort of free freshness and lightness. Oh, it's beautiful. It's not too serious. So we put some pleats in to break up the pattern a little bit, and then you have the whole glory of it. Those oversized poppies and spring flowers and gypsophilia. Just such beautiful yeah. colors with the, all the all the pastels are in there. But this is actually a Swiss print. It is Swiss print. It is. It's pure silk. Or Jacob Slat for um, it has that nice Swiss matte season. finish to it. Crepe de chine. And the shiny side is on the inside. That's beautiful. The photography is just amazing in it because what it gives you is distance and depth as it clears and becomes sharper and blurs and becomes Here's distant. Here's the blurring part. It's just magical. So you the have more blur you in the back and then this really pops out. The more you look at this print, it grows and grows, it literally grows. <laughs> I just love it. So I think a person who has photography as a hobby would mm. really appreciate they don't understand it. how new this print is for 2023 possibly. You could wear that next year and it would still be very modern. But oh yeah, all the are pastels summer. are coming back, like the stronger pastels, summer. all of them are coming and back green, actually. And green, you can't go wrong with green. <laughs> I could <laughs> <laughs> The sheen blouse, the wonderful peony sky, looking amazing. It's got a very simple 
regular jackhard spot on it, so it's just enough. Yes, it almost captures a little bit of silver in it. And then this wonderful blue, blue green emerald. And then this has even got some shot pink, just enough, it's so delicate. I, I think maybe we're imagining it. <laughs> I, I <don't laughs> it does reflect a lot of color. So what we're planning to do is like a little coat, right? And this All is the, the lightest, down. as featured in the Guinness Book of Records, the lightest fabric ever created. Fissula, and it's Swiss from Jacob's Lap, for exactly. And uh, it's world famous. And it's just made of oil, but it looks like a silk organza or chiffon. And it's Isn't metallic it in its liquid, nature. Liquid organza. Why liquid not? organza. They call it lame or a liquid organza. Absolutely. It fits into that uh, grouping. But I just love it. And the structure in this is rather nice if you want to create a corsage. You never know. Or even her new in law. Sister in law. It's called a fissula. Is that because where was it made? Fissula chin. Oh, is it, you think it's, it's Swiss? This is, like, is it a flower? Very delicate. Uh, I think it's some sort of edible uh, salad thing, actually. And they've got an orange bulb to them. Oh, I know, that's, I know. That's, I know, that's I know, coming know, right, isn't it? We yes. managed to find out the orange so this is <laughs> it, It's like a very temporary uh, yes, you can texture have them as and the orange fruit too. inside. Yeah. A beautiful thing to look at. So you can create Fissola. Like a brooch. Corsage. Slightly larger than a brooch. Yeah. There's a big massive print. Yeah, and as a, a big hat. massive as a print, hat. it was and a And when far yeah, away yeah, from yeah. Ascot in June. But you don't have it because and then and you can what it is, it's not in that. the middle of June, 17th to 18th. And yeah. there you are. A huge hand. Not a fascinator. A huge, probably disc that, that's so light. And then she's got a jacket if she feels it's a little bit sort of cooler. But in terms of the greens, it's excellent. It's magnificent, this blue green emerald. The way, oh! What type of tea party is she going to? Well, she's probably going to champagne. She's going to the Royal Enclosure with I champagne. don't think oh, I'll like find this. She deserves yeah. to be in the Royal Enclosure. Yeah. With the winning horse. With the winning horse.